Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to take automated snapshots using lifecycle manager rules. Okay, so under EC2, we have something called as lifecycle manager, which is used to take snapshots. So I'm going to demonstrate on how to take snapshots, right? So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel as I've noticed that 95% of my viewers are not subscribed to the channel. Please, please support and uh, without wasting much time, let's get started. Okay, so to save some time. So what I've done is I've take I've already created an EC2 instance that is up and running for me. So if you do not know how to create an EC2 instance, I've explained that in a separate video. I'll make sure to add the link to the description. You can go check that out. Okay, so this is the EC2 instance. So now if you go and check in the snapshot, so here it's the snapshot. So if you check, there are zero snapshots right now, right? So what I'll do, I will create a snapshot using lifecycle manager. So under elastic block storage, so you have something called as lifecycle manager. Click on that and open it in a new tab. So to just to make sure that we are not messing things. So I'll open it in a new tab and this is how the page looks. So select this one and click on next step. Okay. Now you need to specify a few things. So there is a three steps procedure that you need to follow. If you specify these things, you will be able to create a snapshot automatically. Okay. So target resources you need to set whether you are uh, intending to take snapshots for volume or the instance. Okay. So I'm, I'll go with volume itself. No, nothing to worry. So you need to provide the target resource tags. Okay. So first make sure that you, uh, you add a tag to this EC2 instance. So I have added automated snapshot demo. Okay. So click on this one, select name and value automated snapshot so that is what i've given here okay so whatever the things that you have that will be appearing here when you click on that it will start appearing okay so click on add so that's getting added so if you have another tag you can add that also maximum i think uh, 45 tags are uh, provided as part of this uh, uh, aws okay so you need to provide a description for this. Okay. So provide a description. I'll give automated snapshots demo. Okay. And you need to create an IAM role. So if you have already having an IAM role that is created, go ahead and use that. If you do not have go with this default role option, it will automatically get created. So that is what they have mentioned. It will be automatically created. Okay. With all the required permissions. Next, if you want to add tags, you can add as this is shown here it is optional okay so policy status whether it is enabled or not enabled so we are going to enable it and click on next so here is where you give your schedule right so you can add multiple schedules right so first let us see one by one the name of the schedule schedule one and frequency how what is the frequency how exactly you want to take the snapshot every day or weekly ones or monthly or yearly or you have your custom cron expression right so i'll go with daily every 12 hours or one hour or two hours three hours four hours whatever you want you can give here i'll select this is the least one i'll go with one hour and at what time do you want to take the snapshot i mean starting time so at what exact time you want to start this? So I, I'll say if at 9 UTC. Okay. Retention type. There are two count and age. Okay. So count as in if you specify a number here under keep. So let's say I'll, I'll give 10. So for 10 days, it will retain the snapshot for you in your S3 bucket. So the, uh, the all the snapshots that you take, it will be stored in AWS S3 buckets. That is simple storage service. So it will be retained for 10 days. So if you go with age option, so if you specify 10, so after 10 days, this is going to delete. Okay. So after 10 days of creation, it is going to delete it. Okay. So I'll go with count and I'll give one. Okay. So for just demonstration purpose. So that's, these are the important thing that you need to know while creating a snapshot automatically. 
if you have another uh, schedule for example this is for daily so if you want to take weekly uh, weekly snapshot you can also do that okay so right now i do not want this one okay i'll remove that i'll just say delete and click on remove so i only have one schedule and review policy so this is just a summary of what and all you have given and click on create policy so after creating a policy so just you know your ec2 instance will talk takes uh, you know some time to take snapshots so after few uh, whatever that you have configured in the lifecycle manager at exact 9 utc this policy will start applied to your ec2 instance it is going to take snapshots every one hour okay so this is how you take snapshots using lifecycle manager okay so that's it for today's video guys if you are liking the content that i'm creating please subscribe to the channel and share it among your friends thank you